blocks in sections or cells. When you're done loading a cell, securely tie it off like this. There are special recessed tie-down bars you can secure rope with on the van box walls every few feet. If you're going to be tying off cells with rope that's going to come into contact with furniture, you should fold some wrapping paper up and put that between the two to prevent rope burns. Because of the weight of your refrigerator, it's one of the first items you should load into the van. If possible, place it in an upright position, one of the front corners of the van box. Place it so the handle faces toward the rear of the van. We recommend that you do not lay your refrigerator down. Refrigerators are not designed to be transported any other way than completely upright. All heavy furniture also should be loaded into the front of the van box. Stand your sofa on end if possible. In the opposite corner of the van box is your refrigerator. Carefully maneuver it around doorways. It helps to stand the sofa on end and shimmy it out through the door. Also, don't load heavy items onto your furniture because it could damage it. When loading any rolled up rugs, make sure that they've been rolled up tightly, tied securely and wrapped in paper or plastic to keep them clean. If the rug is lightweight, it can be placed on top of the cell. If the rug is heavy, put it on top of sturdy items. After you've finished loading and securely tying the first cell, begin the second cell. Load this one the same way you loaded the first cell. Before you load dressers, desks, nightstands, and other furniture with drawers, remove the drawers like this. Once loaded, the drawers can be replaced. To prevent the drawers from opening, turn them toward the wall or place them against a mattress or other flat soft surface. Load your table that's been wrapped in furniture pads on its side. If table legs can't be removed, protect the top with either furniture pads or blankets and place the table in the van upside down with the legs up. Loading odd shape items takes a little time and strategy. Rocking chairs can be covered with furniture pads and loaded on top of other heavier items. That goes for end tables as well. Now make sure they're carefully wedged against other items so they don't shift. When you're almost done loading and it looks like you're running out of room in your moving van, don't panic. Continue to load the van until it's completely packed from floor to ceiling. If you have leftover items, arrange them in a rectangle and measure the length, width, and height. Multiply the length times the width times the height, and you've come up with the cubic foot size of your load. Then call your U-Haul location and rent a trailer. U-Haul trailers are excellent for transporting lawn and garden equipment as well as bicycles. All U-Haul moving vans come equipped to pull any size U-Haul trailer. Before driving to the U-Haul Center to pick up your trailer, make sure you completely pack your van. If you don't, your goods might shift and get damaged. Load the trailer just like you loaded the moving van. Load the heaviest items up front and keep the weight evenly distributed from side to side. Well, that's how we recommend you pack and load your possessions so they arrive safe and sound at your new home. But let's review a few of the most important points about packing and loading. Use plenty of furniture pads to protect your furniture and appliances. If possible, have someone supervise the loading. Always lift with your leg, not with your back. Pull items up the van's ramp on either appliance dollies or utility dollies. Load fragile items in mom's attic. Load heavier items at the front of the van box. Load the van box in sections or cells and tie off each cell as it's loaded. Load lightweight items on top of heavier items. Whenever possible, load odd-shaped items on top of other items. Fill in spaces with padding or other soft items. Pack the van box tightly to prevent any shifting. Fill in spaces with padding or empty boxes. Be sure to lock the back of your van or trailer. And before you make your move, be sure to read through your U-Haul moving guide. It features a handy plan your move chart, a household checkoff list, and a moving day countdown guide, along with packing and loading tips. If you'd like additional information, just ask. Good luck with your move, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to make moving easier for you.
congratulations on considering the U-Haul Super Mover for your move. The following is a collection of helpful hints for using the U-Haul Super Mover. U-Haul has spent considerable time and money to bring you the most technologically advanced, state-of-the-art moving van available. And our work doesn't stop there. With a network of over 1,100 owned and operated service facilities from coast to coast, U-Haul performs a thorough checkup after every rental and subjects every truck to a comprehensive preventative maintenance program every 4,000 miles. We have always had the trucks with the lowest decks, but now we've found a way to make them even lower and loading them that much easier. By depressing this button, you can lower this deck an additional four inches. This puts the deck only 24 inches off the ground. Our air cushioned ride suspension features airbags that when deflated, lowers the deck for the ultimate in loading ease. And when inflated, provides a soft, safe ride for you and your possessions. And each super mover is also equipped with all-wheel disc brakes and Goodyear radial tires, especially designed for this vehicle. Our hideaway loading ramp can be easily locked into position, allowing for easy entry into the spacious 1,500 cubic foot weatherproof van box. This van box will easily accommodate all the furniture normally found in a three to four bedroom house. Here you will find a flat, smooth deck, padded rub rails and tie downs, dome lights, mom's attic, where you can place your lighter, fragile possessions and there are absolutely no rough or sharp edges to damage your goods. And this roll-up door can be securely latched and locked for protecting your valuables. We have also provided a permanent hitch ball in the event you need to tow a trailer or tow your car. The Supermover uses diesel fuel only. Diesel engines are about 50% more fuel efficient than gasoline engines, and this can save you a lot of money on your long move. Depending on driving conditions, you can expect anywhere from 7 to 10 miles per gallon. In the event you should run down the battery, the jumper cables can be attached to the jump start post located on the passenger side of the firewall. We recommend that you check the oil level every time you make a fuel stop. To get the most accurate reading possible, the engine must be turned off for a few minutes before checking the oil level. Add oil only if the level reading is below the add line. If oil is needed, the fill spout is located at the front of the engine. Before going into the cab, there's a map pocket located on the driver's door where you will find the vehicle operator's manual. Next to the seat, you will also find the vehicle logbook. There will always be a truck user's guide, a section on how to deal with mechanical or tire trouble, accident procedures, and the complete maintenance history of the truck. The seat. and seat back can be adjusted for your comfort. There is also a storage area under the seat which can be a good place to keep items you may need during your trip. You will also find that the cab is spacious enough to seat three people comfortably and has all the instrumentation and controls conveniently located. There's a glow plug lamp located just above the speedometer. This light must go out before starting the engine. And for best results, keep your foot off the accelerator and let the engine idle for a few minutes. On the dash, you'll find an AM FM push button radio. The button which lowers the deck and also a CB adapter. The air conditioner 
and heater controls. The light switch, which when pulled out turns on the headlights and when rotated counterclockwise turns on the van box dome lights. Directly below the light switch is the windshield wiper and washer controls. And directly in front of the driver is a complete set of gauges and lights. This supermover is equipped with a five-speed manual transmission with a shift pattern clearly printed on the shift lever. The parking brake should always be engaged whenever the truck is parked. There are map lights located above the back window with light streams directed so they don't interfere with the driver's sight at night. Above the windshield are sun visors that are decaled with important information such as clearance warnings. You must be sure there is adequate room when approaching any bridges, overpasses, or canopies before driving instructions engine starting instructions and things you need to be aware of as you drive and when stopping The passenger side visor contains the same information as well as emergency warning triangle assembly and placement instructions. All these instructions should be read before ever driving the super mover. The noise you'll hear if you step on the brakes when the ignition is in the off position is the Super Movers emergency backup system for the power brakes and power steering. This backup system enables you to get off the road in case of a power failure. Another U-Haul exclusive is the airtight cab. The Super Mover is very easy to drive, but if you'd like, one of our U-Haul representatives will be more than happy to take you on a checkout drive. This truck has lap-type seat belts, and they work just like the ones in your car. Since this truck is probably a little bigger than what you're used to driving, it's extremely important to make sure the mirrors are adjusted properly. And the parking brake should not be released until you're comfortable and ready to go. Don't let the power steering air conditioning and comfortable cloth seating fool you. This is still a large truck. And that makes it necessary for you to take your corners wider than normal. This is especially true for right hand turns. Always make sure you have the needed room and avoid any sharp turns. The freeway is where the super mover really excels. The diesel engine will give you the excellent mileage and you'll find that the super mover has absolutely no trouble reaching and maintaining freeway speeds. In fact, this engine is designed to run more efficiently at higher RPMs. As you would with any vehicle, always make sure you leave a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front of you when driving. Also, when passing, allow plenty of time and room before changing lanes, especially if you are towing a car or trailer. To maintain peak efficiency, diesel engines must be kept at high RPMs. Don't be alarmed if you notice the truck emitting black smoke. All diesels have a tendency to smoke. But the fact is, diesels burn fuel more efficiently than gasoline engines do and are far less polluting as a result. To prevent lugging and a loss of power when going up a hill, you'll want to downshift to keep your RPMs up. You should also downshift when descending a steeply graded hill to avoid reaching excessive speeds. 
The height of overpasses should be no problem on all state and interstate highways, but you should watch for any low overpasses when driving older country roads or city streets. Usually, the places you'll have to be the most alert for low clearances are at motel entrances and service stations. Fuel stops are a necessary part of driving, and you'll find that diesel fuel is available at many service stations. The Supermover has a 51-gallon tank, and it's recommended that you fill up whenever the fuel gauge is down to one-quarter tank. Always shut off the engine before adding fuel. The time it takes to add fuel will also allow the oil to settle and give you an accurate oil level reading. If oil is needed, add only 15W40 heavy duty detergent motor oil. Keep your receipts and U-Haul will reimburse you for the oil. In the event that you should run out of fuel, it will be necessary to put at least two gallons of fuel in the tank to ensure that the truck will not only start, but also get you to the next service station. Whenever backing up, it's a good idea to have another person guide you from behind. This person should position himself where he is easily visible in your mirrors. And with just a little practice, you'll be able to back this super mover into spaces you never thought you could. What you have just seen demonstrates why we're so proud of this new super mover. This is the best moving van available to the do-it-yourself mover. And now, you know how to use it. I'm certain that if you use the information provided in this video, the U-Haul Mover Guide, and our free packing and loading video, you'll find that you made the right decision in choosing the U-Haul Super Mover for your move. Lots of companies rent trucks, but when you move your personal belongings, you need a special kind of truck, one that'll make your moving easier for you. It's that simple. At U-Haul, we design, engineer, and manufacture household moving vans and related moving items with you, our customers in mind. U-Haul moving vans have gentle ride suspensions to protect your fragile possessions, and we have thousands of vans with air ride suspensions that prevent unnecessary damage to your goods when you move. All U-Haul vans are equipped with easy loading ramps, padded rub rails, recessed tie downs, smooth deck, and a special place above the cab we call Mom's Attic. Every U-Haul cab seats three adults. Air conditioning, power steering, cloth seats, AM, FM radio, and CB hookup are all standard items at no extra cost. All the vans are equipped to tow trailers, tow dollies, and auto transports as well. U-Haul has helped people move for over 40 years, so we know that moving can be nerve-wracking. But the success of any do-it-yourself move, be it across town or across the United States, depends to a great extent upon selecting the right moving van to fit your needs. So the first question is, how do you know what size van you need? You can select the correct size moving van by answering three basic questions. What's the square footage of your home? How many bedrooms do you have? And how far are you moving? To help you get an idea of what's involved in choosing the right moving van, we're going to use as examples some average size homes and the right van to move each of those homes. You can refer to U-Haul's moving guide and the plan your move chart within. Now by combining the number of bedrooms you have and the square footage of your home or apartment, you can accurately determine the size van you'll need. Let's take a typical four-bedroom home with 2,000 square feet or more, and let's assume that 
you're moving more than 100 miles. In other words, you're moving far enough that you don't want to make several trips. Refer to your plan your move chart under the what are you moving heading. Here you'll see that a four bedroom home or larger or 2,000 square feet and above is listed. Now, scan across the page and look under the heading select your moving van. You'll find that we recommend the 26 foot super mover. Notice the features this van provides. Lowest deck, 24 inches, air ride suspension, largest van, cloth seats, air condition, 50% more fuel efficient, disc brakes, and easy load ramp. The interior van body dimensions are also listed. Note the orange dots. These indicate that those features are U-Haul exclusives. The U-Haul Supermover is the largest capacity van available to the do-it-yourself mover. It features air ride suspension, which means that your belongings are moved on a cushion of air. It's also the only moving van in the industry that has a deck which lowers to just 24 inches off the ground. Loading it requires half the effort of a standard 50-inch high deck on a freight-type rental truck. The Supermover's diesel engine makes it up to 50% more fuel efficient. That means a dollar cost savings to you. Now, scan across the page under the heading Recommended Moving Items. Here's what we recommend that you'll need. 120 boxes, four to five rolls of tape, five to seven dozen furniture pads, three packages of rope, mattress bags, one lock for the rear door, and one hand truck or utility dolly. For our next example, let's consider a two-bedroom condominium or an apartment with between 1,200 and 1,600 square feet. Once again, refer to your Plan Your Move chart under the What Are You Moving heading. Now, scan across the page to the next heading titled Select Your Moving Van. You'll see that we recommend the 17-foot Easy Loading Mover. All of the van specifications are listed, such as a low 32-inch deck, gentle ride suspension, easy load ramp, air conditioning, automatic transmission, and seating for three adults. Once again, the orange dots represent a U-Haul exclusive. Also included under this heading are the interior dimensions of the van body. If you continue across the column, you'll read under the heading Recommended Moving Items. That 50 boxes, two rolls of tape, two to three dozen furniture pads, one roll of rope, mattress bags, a lock, and hand truck are recommended. When moving one way, always select a van at least as large as our recommended size, since anything you leave behind will have to be replaced at your final destination. And most often, the cost of replacing items on the other end will easily outweigh the cost of renting a larger van. So you can understand why selecting the correct size van is so important. If you're moving only a short distance, generally speaking, you should rent a van larger than what we recommend for a one-way move, so that you make as few trips as you can. Fewer trips in a larger van saves you time, aggravation, and fuel. In other words, fewer trips will save you money. However, if you'll need to maneuver the vehicle in tight places, a smaller van is more convenient. But now you understand why the right equipment for your move is so important. Because the right equipment will actually cost you less. Less fuel, less time, with no replacement costs and no unnecessary damage. When you select the right equipment, your move will be easier and will actually cost you less. Now, planning a move takes time, so allow three to four weeks before a big move to reserve your U-Haul moving van and begin the necessary packing early. By preparing in advance, you'll make moving day go smoothly with less frustration and anxiety. Now, if you're taking along a car, a motorcycle, or you have some things left over that won't fit into a van, you may need to rent a trailer. To determine the correct size trailer you'll need, Simply arrange all of your leftover items in a rectangle and measure length, width, and height. Multiply the length times the width times the height, and that equals the cubic foot size of your load. Now, look at the plan your move chart under the heading titled Select Your Moving Van. Here you'll see a cubic foot measurement for each of our trailers. Select the correct size trailer by matching up the number of cubic feet you have to move with the trailer which has the closest cubic foot capacity. For example, a 6 by 12 foot trailer can handle up to three rooms or 382 cubic feet of goods. Our 5 by 8 foot trailer can handle up to two rooms or 195 cubic feet of goods. If you have miscellaneous furnishings or lawn and garden equipment to move, select either the 4 by 8 foot or 4 by 6 foot trailer. The 4 by 8 trailer can hold up to 143 cubic feet of goods, while the 4 by 6 holds up to 102 cubic feet of goods. 
Remember, a U-Haul trailer is still the most economical way to move. Tow it behind your car or our moving van. All U-Haul trailers feature low decks, a soft ride, padded rub rails, a low center of gravity, stabilized suspension, and they're easy to tow. You know how to go about selecting the right size moving van and trailer, but what if you have to tow your boat or car behind your U-Haul van? Well, most U-Haul moving vans are set up to tow your boat or another recreational trailer. When it comes to towing your car, U-Haul offers three options. First, a traditional tow bar, which hooks up with chains to your car's frame. With this setup, all four wheels of your car ride on the road. Next, we offer a tow dolly. With this setup, your vehicle's front wheels ride on the dolly itself with the rear wheels on the ground. We recommend this for front-wheel drive cars, although our tow dolly will accommodate most rear-drive autos as well. Our third alternative is the auto transport. Now, this is actually a trailer which allows you to tow your vehicle without any of its wheels touching the pavement. Refer to your automobile's owner's manual to see if you need to remove the drive shaft when towing your vehicle. Each of these three alternatives are easy to hook up. Which option is right for you depends on how many of your vehicle's tires you want to ride on the road, whether or not you want to take the time to remove your drive shaft, and how many miles you want to put on your auto. So you can see it's easy for you to choose which equipment is right for you. We understand the time and energy you spend moving, and we want to help in any way we can. For more easy moving tips, check out our other videos, packing and loading, and the new Super Mover. Your friends at U-Haul are committed to making your move easier. If you'd like additional information, just ask. We offer packing supplies as well as safe move protection. U-Haul also provides the best 24-hour emergency road service available. It's no wonder why you've selected U-Haul for your move. Since 1945, U-Haul has helped more than 70 million families move themselves to a better life. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you.